Hello and welcome to day 12 of our 21 day Fab Ab Challenge. Um, you know I think that you're fantastic. If you've made it through this far you really are showing me massive commitment and massive ab dedication. So I'm really proud of you uh, for doing it. Well done. We're on day 12 now so we are actually over the halfway point. There is an end in sight. Today is a two phase workout. We're going to be doing mainly rep base and only two exercises on phase two, which are timers. So it's going to be a little bit slower than yesterday, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be any easier. Let's have a little warm up and then I will show you what we're going to do today. So uh, five steps to perfect form. I should definitely know what they are by now. We're going to engage those five things. We want anchors, glutes, core, chest, shoulders, rib cage. We're going to pop our hands together and we're going to go for a nice stretch up, straight hands. We want you to re-engage your anchors, glutes and core and start to gently pulse your shoulder blades backwards. Head is before arms. If you are wobbling around, you need to give me extra anchors, extra bum and extra core. From here, we're going to take it over to one side. We're gently going to pulse them shoulders 10 times to the left and then 10 times to the right. Eight, nine, ten, nice. From here, we're going to be doing our 10 pull aparts. We want to pull the air actually apart, feel the engagement in your back muscles as you bring it down. Nice. Perfect. We're going to link those hands back together again. I'm going to turn to the side. What I'm going to do is ask you to give me some good anchors and then use nothing but your bum to bend over. Nothing but your bum to squeeze in. and they should. Your anchors should take all of your weight all of the time. Your bum goes out and squeezes in to an already engaged core. We're going to do 10 of these. Nice. Six. Perfect. Seven. Good. We're doing 10. Nine. 10. Perfect. From here we're going to let those hands have a little rest and we're going to go and finish off giving me some squats. So what we're going to do is arrange those five things. We're going to sit ourselves down nice and evenly into a squat position, into those anchors, even weight distribution. And then you're going to make your bum bounce. We're going to do 10 bounces. And then you're going to do 10 full squats. Even weight distribution, good bum press. Even weight, nice bum press into core. Nice. Two, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. We're just going to finish off warming up the hips right now. So we're going to get ourselves down onto the floor and into a tabletop position. We're going to anchor the palms into the floor. We're going to squeeze our bum to stabilize our knees as well. And then we're going to press into the floor. We're going to try and get our mid back up to the ceiling and tuck our tailbone all the way in with a good bum squeeze. And then I want you to slowly stick your bum all the way out and give it another little squeeze. We're going to do five of these. This is quite a slow stretch. It's great for activation and it's nice for movement. Nice bum squeeze. We're going to do two more of these. Nice, press it in. Good bum squeeze. Stick it all the way out. One more, one more. Last one. Nice bum squeeze in. Stick it out, 
perfect so you're now going to step those anchors two steps forwards we're going to re-anchor them and we're going to push our bum down to the floor and then from here you're going to power your bum up and push it into your anchors we're going to do 10 of these so it's a little bit quicker but again you're not throwing yourself through motions you're going to do nice controlled bum squeeze into the anchors nice push back into the bum all good nine nice ten perfection from here you're going to meet me at standing and i'm going to show you what we're going to be doing so phase one is all about reps we're still going to be doing three rounds of it it's a 10 20 game that we're playing today so we're going to do 10 reps of one exercise we'll be doing 20 reps of another and we've got three separate pairs to get through so let me show you what they are number one we're going to be doing resisted sit down so we're starting on the floor we're going to be doing chest out massive bum squeeze as we three two one to the floor from here you can uh, you have to bum squeeze and core squeeze but you can choose if you're strong enough to let your core sit you up with your chest back up to the sky so that you can repeat that or you can use those hands to get down get up massive bum squeeze as you fall down to the floor we're going to be doing 10 of those once we've finished on 10 you'll be coming round to do some glute kick and crunches now this is 20 movements so we're going to do 10 crunch and kick on each leg we're going to do 10 on one side and then we're going to do 10 on the other and that's going to give us our 20 rep count from there we'll be coming back down onto the floor and we're going to now do resisted leg raises so we're going to pop our hands under the floor, shoulders into the floor. You're going to squeeze your bum and squeeze your toes, uh, point your toes. You're going to use your lower core to crunch, kick, massive bum squeeze all the way down. Um, unless you feel it in your back. And then you will do the crunch and a massive bum squeeze without the kick back down onto the floor. We're going to be doing 10 of them. From here, we're coming over, we're going into a plank position, an elbow plank. We're going to pop our hands on our floor, elbows become anchors, up onto the tiptoes, you go into one, one, and toe taps with the bum, two. We're going to be doing uh, one, two, three, four, all the way to 20 for our 20 rep count. From there, yeah, last, last pair, we move into a, a double. So what I want you to do here is a protected crunch. You're going to extend the arms. You're going to engage your glutes and core. You're going to use your lower core to crunch your legs in. You'll use your upper core to crunch your hands in to protect it. And then from here, you're going to massively squeeze as we reset re-engage and do it again that is a 10 rep move so there's one left we're moving into another plank yes yes we'll be going down onto the floor your elbows will become your anchors you will come up onto your tiptoes now from here what i want you to do is tuck one shoulder put your forearm down engage and activate the anchor tap your other shoulder all good um if you as we go through the rounds if you find the shoulder tap or the toe tap too much then you are going to hold your plank for as long as it takes me to do those movements um, and don't forget you can go down onto your knees there's a lot of planks in this workout so do what you can um, but take it down where you need to. If it's not engaged, take it down one so that you've got perfection for the whole workout. We've got three rounds to get through to finish this. Meet me down here when you're ready. I'm about to go. 
10 reps, no timer. It's all on your perfection. Um, also, don't try to meet my speed. Make your own speed, your own control, your own perfection. Um, the rest will come. Okay, so we're doing number one is where we're actually doing some sit downs. So we're going to start up. We're going to get your chest out, get your bum on, massively bum squeeze as you three, two, one to the floor. Re-engage, crunch up, massive squeeze, three, two, one, engage, crunch up, three, two, one to the floor, engage, crunch up, four, massive bum squeeze, into five, massive bum squeeze, we're doing ten, engage, the temptation will be to start flinging yourself up once you hit the floor. If that is happening to you, that's going to be where you're going to start to use your hands to help you rather than your back flinging you up. You've got two left here. Nice. One. Chest up. Massive bum squeeze. There's number one. We're moving round into number two, which is our first. Oh, it's actually not a plank, this one. Well, it is. It's a beginner's. So what we're going to do is we're going to anchor the palms. You're going to now crunch, kick. We're doing ten. Stabilise. Three, four. Bum must be on. Six, seven. Crunch it. Eight, bum. Nine, core, bum, ten, perfect. I'm going to rearrange, re-engage my anchors, re-engage my bum to stabilise the knee. I'm going to crunch, bum kick, two, crunch, kick, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, perfection. We're going to come back down onto the floor then, and we're going to train lower core. We're going to do hands under the bum, shoulders on the floor. We're going to engage that lower core, point your toes. You're going to crunch it, kick it, massive bum squeeze. Crunch, kick, massive bum squeeze. Remember, as I said in the demos, if the leg kick is hurting your back, you're going to take it down to a crunch and then put it back down onto the floor. Nice. One crunch, one kick, one massive squeeze. Nice. Crunch it, kick it, massive bum, massive bum squeeze. Last one into massive squeeze well done round into plank position we're going down onto the elbows we're going to anchor them by pressing and screwing them into the floor we're coming up onto the tiptoes we're going to squeeze the bum and squeeze the core and then you're going to instruct your bum cheek three four to take it out to the side nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, yes, go bum, 17, 18, 19, 20, perfect, well done. We come back down onto the floor for our last pair and to complete round one. We're heading into protected crunches. We're going to engage the glutes and core. Ready, crunch in to protect it massive bum squeeze as you three two one to the floor one crunch squeeze three two one to the floor engage crunch squeeze three two one to the floor again massive squeeze in two five in five left rest is coming 
let's go. In two, three, two, two. Woo! One more. Crunch it. Squeeze it. Great abs. We're moving over. We're going into our last plank and last one for this round. We're going to elbow plank. Elbows are anchors. You're going to press and screw them into the floor. Up onto the tiptoes. We're going to one tap, two tap, three tap, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Well done. Perfect. There's round one complete. You can choose to rest now if you want to, but if you're ready for it, we're going to move straight into round two. We're going to be doing 10 resisted sit-ups. We're going to engage. We're going to get our chest to the sky. Massive bum on. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice. Engage. Chest up. Massive squeeze. Three, two, one. Engage. Chest up. Massive squeeze. Three, two, one. Engage. <sighs> Tough one, yeah? Three, two, one. Again. Chest. Get that chest to the sky. There's number five. Massive squeeze. Engage. <sighs> Six. Well done, well done, well done. Let's go, let's go. Crunch it chest up seven in the bag nice that really good control as you manage to get that chest to the sky you'll feel that extra bit of core if you can hold on to your bum all the way down you will feel this into massive bum squeeze to the floor one more chest up massive bum squeeze down to the floor. Love it. There's number one. We move into its second. We're doing 20 glute kicks and core crunches. You're going to need some good anchors here. We're going to engage our bum, stabilize those knees, and then you're going to crunch, kick, crunch, two, crunch, three, into Four, core on the way in, bum on the way up. Eight, nine, ten. Perfection. We're going to re engage, reactivate, and we're going to crunch, kick. Two, we're doing ten more. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's our 20 reps. Well done. We head back down onto the floor to go and get that lower core training in. Feeling it? I am. Okay. We want them shoulders on the floor. We're going to engage. We're going to crunch it, kick it if you are. Massive bum squeeze to the floor. And even if you could hold it on the first time, if you're starting to feel the trouble, focus your engagement more, squeeze more, control more, or let yourself have a little rest and then try to get back in the game. Lower core crunch, massive bum squeeze. Crunch it, squeeze it. Six. We're only doing ten here. Crunch it. Squeeze control. You notice that the harder you squeeze your bum, the more your core works. One more. This is ten. Massive bum squeeze. Nice. Perfection. 
We're moving round into planks then. First lot of plank. We're going down onto the elbows. And yes, we are. You're going to anchor them into the floor. You're going to come up onto those tiptoes. We're going to squeeze the glutes and core. And then you're going to instruct your bum cheek to take it to the side. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Love it. Back round. Mm. Onto the floor. Our last pair here. So it's your last round of 10. We're going to put the, both of those moves together. We're going to engage. We're going to crunch massive squeeze to control back down on the floor re-engage crunch massive squeeze back down to the floor nice massive squeeze crunch engage expel the air as you make the crunch it will definitely help especially if you're hitting a bit of fatigue right now. This is round two. We don't have too much longer left in this game. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Great abs. Sore abs. Moving on. Let's finish this round then. We're going into those uh, elbow anchors, forearm anchors. We're going to go onto our tiptoes and we are now going to shoulder tap. One, one. Try to stabilize your forearm and your anchor. Nice, 20, perfection. Have a little rest if you need it. We have one third and final round to get through. As soon as you're ready, if you need a drink, you're gonna go and get it. If you need to have 30 seconds up to a minute, you can have it. And then you're gonna come and join me for our third and final round of phase one. Phase one, and then there's only one super short phase two to get on with. So, chest out, bum on. Massive bum squeeze, two, one, to the floor, engage, chest to the sky or to the ceiling, massive bum squeeze to the floor, engage, bum squeeze, core on, and then drive that chest to the sky, massive squeeze, <sighs> yes. Nice, five in, five left. Squeeze it, engage it, chest up, massive bum squeeze, down onto the floor, engage. Chest, massive bum, down to the floor. Ooh, eight. nice, again tough, yeah? Nine, one more, one more. 10. Massive bum squeeze to control down to the floor. There's number one out the way. Woo. Okay. We're going to engage. We're going to push our anchors into the floor and we're going to squeeze our bum to stabilize those knees. Last time you're doing this, so try to make it perfect. Five. Core crunch, bum squeeze. Eight, nine, ten. Nice. Re engage, re anchor, reactivate. One, two, three. Doing good. Four, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. We come back down onto the floor to do our last lot 
of resisted leg lifts. We're going to have a little lay down. We're going to put our shoulders into the floor. We're going to engage those glutes and core. You're going to crunch it, kick it if you can. Massive bump, squeeze to control it. Engage it, crunch it, kick it. Nice, squeeze down, engage, crunch, kick. If you feel like you don't, your bum engagement runs out, hit the floor, squeeze the bum and do it again. No harm in re-engaging, that is you, just you telling your body that every single rep must be engaged. We're doing a good job, crunch it, massive bum squeeze to control, massive bum squeeze, you've got two left to get through, Rah. one, two, perfect, from here we're going back in for some planks, we're doing our toe taps, we're going to do elbow anchors, yes, okay, we're going to push and screw them into the floor, we're going to come up onto our toes, we're going to stabilise, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. One, two, use the bum. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. Well done. We're coming back down onto the floor for our last two. Just two left now, the tough ones. We're gonna engage. Okay, 10 protected crunches. Glutes on, core on, let's go. Into massive bum squeeze, reset, re-engage, protect it. Massive bum squeeze, re-engage three, nice, massive bum squeeze, re-engage, almost there, six, go, 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 feel that out burn, don't go through motions, make sure you're getting a good re-engage, crunch it, massive squeeze, Nine. Great ab burn. One more. Ten. Nice. One more plank. Woo. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We're going to engage those anchors, pushing them elbows and screwing them into the floor. We've got good glutes and good core. One, two, three. Four, take the time to stabilize the forearm. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfection. Well done, well done, well done. Phase one complete. We're heading on to round two. Round two is timer based but there's only two exercises in it. It's not a fast pace but it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. So we're going to be spending a whole minute, yes a whole minute, on these exercises each. The first exercise that we're going to be doing is a C-sit hold. Now, minute is a hell of a long uh, time and we've just done a massive core workout. So, we're going to hold it for as long as we can, as long as it's in perfection. And then you're going to reset, re-engage and do it again as many times as you need to for the time that you have left. All good? Perfect. Okay, cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our knees, we're going to get our chest out, we're going to massively bum squeeze as you travel backwards and you feel your core take over at this point and you're going to hold your chest up to the sky if you need to you can very gently put some gentle stabilizers 
behind you but don't push into them too much because you'll see for yourself that it takes away the core hold when um you feel like it's actually not a good hold anymore you're just going to grab those knees have a little rest re-engage chest out shoulders back and hold it again for as long as you can for the whole minute that we've got going on when that minute finishes you're going to have 15 seconds uh, to rest and then it's just going to go on or to prep really for the next move and the move that we're finishing on today is going to be the plank of the day we're going to hold a plank for a whole minute all good i know i know that you've done a lot of planks today but we've been doing planks uh for, for the last couple of weeks now and we haven't managed to try to test ourselves for a whole minute and it doesn't matter if you don't get the whole minute but it's nice to give it a go um also when you get to this plank one um, if you need to, a knee plank works just as good. You are just as engaged if you have good bum and good core control and great anchors. All good? Perfect. So I'm just going to run over there, set my timer, and then me and you are going to smash it out. Be right back. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to prepare. We're coming down onto the floor for our C-sit hold. Chest out, bum on. We're on time. There's a whole minute on that clock. We're just going to keep our chest up to the sky. You're going to keep your shoulders back for me. You can gently put your fingertips just on your legs. Or you can gently just put behind you if you need a little bit of stabilizers, but don't rely on them too much because this is a core hold. If you um, do feel that it's becoming very back dominant, we're just going to grab those legs. You're going to come back up, you're going to reset, you've got 30 seconds left to hold. While I'm holding, what I'm thinking to myself is, is my bum on, is my core on? You definitely won't be able to feel your bum squeezing, but the fact that you're telling it is, helps your core out because glutes and core are best friends. Chest is out, shoulders are back, and what do you know, we've got 10 seconds, 5 nice hold three two one yes. rest perfect we've got 10 seconds now to move into our plank last one of the day okay go go elbows anchor we're on time up onto those tiptoes give me a bum squeeze give me a core squeeze and hold it this is it guys, you made it, you made it through day 12. There's less than 10 days to get through now. You do, you're doing a stunning job. Thank you so much for being here and giving me all of your time. It will pay off. <laughs> it has done already for a few of you. I know that some of you are saying you're not just feeling it, you're starting to see the difference and feel more energetic, more happier. We've got 20 seconds left here. Engage for me. Engage. Bum squeeze more. Core squeeze more. 10 seconds. You can do it. You don't have to do anything else after this. Three, two, one. Yes. Rest. Well done. You've done that off. Perfect. Good work guys um well done you know you know you know how pleased and proud i am of you i tell you i actually tell you every single day um if you are struggling with any of these workouts or any of these exercises please give me a shout um it's what i'm here for and uh, you guys are doing a great enough job to still be here following me along so if there's any pointers that you need reach out to me and i'll be happy to help um give yourselves a little moment I'm going to take you for a nice stretch after that. You'd have felt the difference uh, as opposed to yesterday was quite sweaty, uh, very quick pace. Um, and this one is a lot more s about slow controlled movements. And the difference is, is uh, yesterday's workout would have been more towards lean training for a little bit of fat burn and still some great core engagement while we're going for it. 
And today's workout uh, was definitely more strength based. It's much slower, it's more controlled. Your muscles have to hold that position for a longer time. Um, so don't ever be fooled by a slow workout. If they're slow, slow and controlled, uh, then you're probably going to feel the burn for the next couple of days. So if that happens to you, please tell me about it. I always love to hear it. <laughs> uh, and uh, massive well done to you for doing it. So let me take you through a nice stretch. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to be starting down on the floor. And what I want you to do for me is get yourself into a nice tabletop position to start with. We're going to give it some good anchors. And then I want you to push your bum all the way down to the floor. I'm going to give your bum a little squeeze. And then we're going to walk our fingers all the way forwards. And have a little breath. Well done. From here we're going to be bringing our hands over to one side. And we're going to do a little push back there. Nice. And then we're going to do it again. Over onto the other side. Get yourself some good, a good stretch over there. And then a gentle push back. Love it. From here, you're going to bring yourself into a nice hip stretch. You're going to, oh, I'm going to shimmy back so you can see me there. And press that bum into your hand anchors. Nice. You have some deep breaths in. From here, what I want you to do is bring yourself around and I want you to have a little lay down on the floor. Nice, cool. What I'm going to get you to do here is just bring both knees in to your chest and breathe out as you start to bring those knees in. Love it. From here, what I want you to do is just put the knees together. We're going to let them gently go back down onto the floor. You're going to bring them back in again. You're going to exhale as you bring those knees into the chest and then I want you to do gentle circle motion guided by the hands I'm going to bring it up out two, we're going to be doing ten of them uh, the change up for the stretching routine is that when we're doing a, a lot of planks and a lot of heavy abs like we just did um, we can aggravate our hip flexors so I'm just giving you a nice mobilization to finish with you're gonna plug your anchors into the floor your heels and then I want you to give me a good bum press evenly through those heels get that bum all the way up as up as you can get it Nice. We're going to bring it down onto the floor. From here, you're going to lay one leg on the floor and we're going to go into our hamstring stretch. So we're going to do our five circles one way. We'll do five circles back the other way. We'll do our gentle bounce of encouragement. And then we're going to flex that toe down to our face. We're going to hold it where it hurts. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to pop that one down and we're going to change legs. We're going to bring it in, up. We're going to do some massive circles both ways. We'll do that gentle bounce of encouragement. You're going to flex that toe down to your face. You're going to hold it where it hurts. If it's shaking, it's hurting, it's working. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, 
one. Nice. Perfect work. Again, I'm going to thank you very much for your continued efforts and your continued dedication to the programme. Um, keep it up. Keep up the good work. I'm very excited that you're here and that you're going to keep doing this now because you're halfway in. It's a very special uh, place and a good achievement for you to be getting. So very well done to you. I'll be uh, really happy for you all week for doing it this week. So have an amazing day and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow.